Raja Kabir, Punch Out Boxing, here with Jack Daly, ahead of your return, Friday night on the GBM show. Jack, you were meant to be out uh, a couple of times in the last few months. Frustrating times, keep getting fights cancelled. Frustrating times, frustrating times. But look, I'm looking to put them behind me. Uh, I've got a huge show on Friday night. Uh, looking to put on a perfect performance. Left no stun and turn. Uh, looking to go out there and do what I do best. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, cruiserweights, as we spoke last time, to hot division. I'm sure you're... Uh, impatient to get yourself into that mix so you, you do need you to get out regularly so is, it, is this only yours it's your second fight out isn't it this is my second fight i'm looking to be as active as possible and i'd like to get another three fights in this year um but i will get this right out of the way and we'll see what is uh, what is on the cards yeah and what, what have you been doing since uh, your last your last fight been working on technical aspects fitness conditioning type things anything in particular well, like you said i was supposed to have a a couple of fights that got cancelled last minute. So I've been in camp, been training hard, ticking over, um, not improving the game like we always do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Friday night, looking to put on one of your customary big punching performances, or you're going to actually look to work on things that you've been doing in the gym? Well, I will always uh, look to work on things what I've done in the gym. You know, I have a uh, the immense amount of skill and I know I'll go out there and land the shots and uh, I'll let the power speak for itself, you know. I, I land in his chin and he goes down and that is all she wrote but um, I will not be looking for anything in particular. Mm -hmm. I will just simply go out there and box the way that I box. Fab, yeah, yeah that's, that's all we ask. Um, I just wonder, because of these repeated cancellations of fights, is there any sense from you and your team that maybe need to uh, sort of move a bit quicker than you'd have previously planned to? Like, maybe go up in rounds, maybe after this fight? No, we had a schedule. We had a schedule that we, uh, we wanted to follow. Um, the fights may not have come through, but we're not going to allow it to push us behind. We're just going to last four rounder, we move up to six, mm -hmm. and then we'll go for the gears, and uh, before long we'll be calling for the title. Okay. In terms of, uh, sort of, moves up in level of opponents after this do you, do you want someone who's maybe known to be durable and that can maybe take you rounds yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i would like that i'd like that again it's up to uh i have to trust my team my manager my coach um you know, i definitely want to step up so i think that's the plan we'll find tougher opponents more challenges you know we put on great shows for the fans um you know, i'm lucky enough again to have it at your call i have a immense fan base so i want to uh Keep putting on shows for people. Keep making them out. A good night out. Good night out of boxing. Yeah. <laughs> Can't argue with that. York Hall is, especially if you guys perform uh, the way I know you can. Just want, just want your views on the, uh, the cruiserweight scene out there in Saudi Arabia. We saw the guy widely considered the, the world number one, Jai Apatai, in another brutal war with Breedis. Uh, did you watch it? What did you make of it? <laughs> I did watch it. You know, uh, Jai, Jai did look good. You know, Breedis was 38, though. Um, and he had some success in uh, certain rounds, you know, I'd like to have seen it if, if Reedus was maybe, you know, 10 years younger. I'd like to see it then how it went, but, um, you know, how to him. I was tired of what he came to do. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to see him fight, fight the, uh, the winner of Bolivia Ackmore next. Yeah, that's what Jai Optai himself wants. And uh, if it turns out to be Reactor, it could be a bit of a needle fight because of the way that that purse bid went uh, last time. Do you, do you still think... Jai is the man to beat in the division. You know, there are a couple of champions right now. Uh, he's definitely one of the one of the main ones. You know, top two, maybe three, but he's one of the main men to beat in the division right now. Yeah. And of course, uh, the day after you fight, the British title fight, um, Chef Clark against Zorro. That's an interesting one. Uh, how do you assess the cruiserweight scene just at domestic level if we exclude the guys operating at world level? Yeah, no, we have a good fight there uh, on the matching card. I think we've also got Isaac Chamberlain versus Jack Massey out soon. Yep. I think that's for the European title. It uh, is. So it's heating up right now. Yeah. It's heating up. There's a ton of great fights. Um, you know, one, I'm looking forward to getting involved in the mix, but I'm also looking forward to sitting back and watching some of the mix as well. <laughs> yeah, as a fan, can't go wrong with some of them fights. Um, and of course, there's loads of youngsters like yourself coming up. So. Uh, you guys are going to keep us entertained for many years, I think. I hope so. I hope so. That's the plan. First thing first, Friday night, I'll get the job done and uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, out a lot more regularly this year. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Thank you for having me. Jack, always a pleasure and uh, we'll speak soon.